Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Madison, and for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Kosas foundation, but I figured there's so many videos out there about this foundation right now, and people are trying it left and right, and I recently picked up the other Kosas foundation, like their, um, what is this, the Tinted Face Oil? And I figured since they don't have a lot of different foundations in the line, I would do maybe half and half to see if you're already a big fan of this. Do you necessarily need this? Like, what are the differences? Things like that. So, I think we're just going to go ahead and start. I already have some eye makeup on. Alright, I'm just going to start priming. I'm going to use my regular. What I've been using is the Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer. This is just a sample, little mini size. And I'm going to read some things about these foundations while I do this, just so we can have an idea what we're in for. Alright, so the new Kosas foundation, which is called the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation, um, it does have SPF in it, which I don't know if the other one does. I think maybe it doesn't. So, SPF. It is supposed to be a medium coverage with a natural finish. Hydrating, good for dullness, uneven texture, reef safe SPF, and it has the clean at Sephora little stamp. Let's read the other. Now technically one is a foundation, one is a skin tint. I'm just doing this because I'm curious. So the skin tint is supposed to be medium coverage, a satin finish, which is pretty similar to a natural finish. Um, it has the clean of at Sephora little mark. So it does say medium coverage, but then... Down below, it also says light coverage, so we will just see about that. Um, I went ahead and applied my primer down, like, the center of my face, where I like to be a little bit more hydrated. I think we're going to go on this side with the new, and then this side with the older one. Let's zoom in. All right. It would help if I would open this one. Alright, so here is the bottle of the new one. It is identical to the concealer bottle. It basically just looks like a big version of that, if you're familiar. Um, does it have a... Okay, yeah, it does have a pump. I just unscrewed it for no reason. Really pretty, like, little yellow pump. And I am going to... By the way, I am in shade... Very Light Neutral 100. So, pretty liquidy so far. And I'm going to take my Morphe. This is my favorite foundation brush, the M439. And let's just get to town on this side. Let me... All right, the color is a little yellow, but I think we're going to be okay. Decent coverage so far. Bring it on the neck a little. It has a faint kind of scent. I don't know if that's the SPF I'm smelling or what. Let me bring in a little mirror. All right, just for reference, I do have dry skin, which I feel like was a good candidate for this foundation. Definitely is giving medium coverage, um, like I'm definitely not lacking in coverage. It looks a little heavy. Um, you can see like right up next to like my nose area, that's getting pretty outrageous. Maybe I just used a little too much. Wow, okay. So that's this side, this is the new Kosas Skin Improving Foundation. And this is with nothing. I like the coverage. I think maybe I went ahead and applied a little much. It's just not looking as skin-like as I would expect. But let's try to let it sit and then we'll do the next foundation. I like bottles like this. Next, this is the... Tinted face oil in my shade is 02, which I'm hoping 
is fine. I'm going to switch to the other hand. Oh, so this is very... Ah, okay. This is, like, very liquidy. Like, it's going to run off your hand. Feels a lot lighter, like I said, though. This is a skin tint. I feel like these shades are pretty comparable to each other. Again, I might have gotten way too much. Both look are looking very radiant and dewy. I wouldn't agree with like a satin or a natural finish. These are definitely more of a radiant complexion product for sure. Not sure if oily skin would get along with either. I'm going to switch to a different brush to see if I can kind of remove some. Colors are very similar, so if you think you're this color, then O2 for the skin tint and very light neutral 100 for the new. Okay. Looking at them right away, neither one I think looks like undetectable. You can really, I think you can see both on my skin. But I do feel like the oil, although it feels a little bit more like greasy and oily, it feels lighter on the skin than the skin improving foundation. So yeah, that's how they're looking. I maybe got slightly more coverage over here for the foundation side, but the skin tint provided almost the exact same amount of coverage. Yeah, I feel a little like in my dry spots between my eyebrows, around the nose. I feel like both are kind of gathering there. But like I said, we're going to kind of let it sit. We're going to let it sit and then also set it with other things. So I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer and then I'll come back and we'll kind of see how it's looking and I'll set it with some powder. Um, yeah, and we'll check it out. Alright, so this is my base completed. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't set anything, so I am going to. I like to just give, especially when products are looking a little heavy on my face, I think it's a good idea to kind of let those products dry so that you can set them in a way where it's not going to like add texture and add more like layerage. So I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill, what are these called? The brightening and setting palette and I'm kind of dipping into all the colors except for the bright yellow and I'm just gonna pop some powder right in here like around my kind of nose and right under like the eye I'm gonna set a little on the forehead and around the mouth so I'm gonna come in really close so you can Kind of see what everything is looking like so this side is the kosas new self um or skin improving foundation and this is the kosas skin tint oil um i think both look really good honestly they like i said they did feel a little heavy they did kind of make my skin look a little heavy but now that i've got everything on and i've set my makeup and everything i think everything looks really smooth really um perfected but in a way that i still feel like my skin doesn't look like foundation-y in a way i don't know so that's a good look at that i am going to be doing a wear test so i will kind of come along for the rest of the day and talk about how everything's looking but i'll just give you another little side by side still uh skin improving foundation from kosas and the face oil tint so like i said i think right now i don't think i can say i have one that i'm preferring i think both sides look really good um i don't think i even looked that strange like I don't really think you could tell I have two different foundation products on. Like I said, the colors, I got pretty lucky with that. But they both are really giving this similar effect. So that's kind of what I wanted to achieve with this video. I wanted to see if these are so similar to the point where you don't need both complexion products from Kosas. So we will stay tuned. Maybe one will wear better than the other. Um, yeah. All right. I will come back and check in with you guys in a bit. 
All right, I am back for my first check-in. Sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, I put my makeup on around 1-ish, so it is just about 5 now, and this is how we're looking. So just a reminder, this side is the Kosas Skin Improving Foundation. This side is the Kosas Tinted Skin Oil, or what is this called? Tinted Face Oil. Um... So I figured I would just give you guys, let me turn the, turn the lights down just a tad so you can really see any kind of like balling up. I'm going to take a peek in the smaller mirror. Um, so something I said about it at the beginning was that I felt like both looked a little heavy on the skin, not necessarily in a terrible way. But they just didn't look, you know, there's some products that really do mimic the appearance of real skin and that do not look like foundation-y or anything. But these products don't have a bad finish on the skin, but they definitely do have, like, a makeup appearance on the face. Um, looking around, some of my problem areas, like my dry patches are between here and on the sides of my nose. Um, this is actually pretty good. Usually the side of my nose looks a lot worse, like, immediately once applying. Um, I did set, like, kind of the middle of my face with some powder, but not much. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, definitely is still giving me a pretty radiant finish. I wouldn't agree with, like, natural or satin finish, what these products claim. I feel like if you don't really like a radiant finish, you're not going to really enjoy these products. Coverage was really good on both, like I said before. A medium coverage. It's almost giving full, almost, but definitely medium. And I think everything is looking good so far. So that's been what, like four hours? And let me turn that light the lights even more. I feel like everything looks pretty flawless. I have been like laying my hand on my um cheek and like I messed with earlier my eye was watering so I was wiping a little but everything looks pretty flawless still um you can kind of see like around my chin it looks like a little heavy but again that's kind of like more of a dry textured area for me yeah I think four hours in everything still looks good I still I don't see a difference in the appearance of these. I'm not saying like the exact same formula or anything, but um, I'm just saying if you have one, you might not need both. But yeah, I will come back a little later, um, probably after I eat dinner, things like that, and check in with you guys. And so far, so good. So far, we're loving both of the products, and they're um, pretty similar to each other. So I'll catch you guys soon. Alright, so I am back for my final check-in of the day. It is about 10, 15-ish, 10.30, and we have had this on for about 10 hours now, I would say. So, this is how it's looking. Now, just a reminder, this is the Kosas New Skin Improving Foundation, and this is the Tinted Face Oil from Kosas. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping my same opinion that... These products give a very, very similar um, finish. Sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder. I'm just trying to examine what I think looks different. Um, I think overall both of these products held up pretty well. I did take like a walk where I got a little sweaty. And then I also um, ate and I've just been kind of like resting my hand on it. So you can definitely see there's like some fadage um, like around my cheek area. That's pretty normal. On the forehead, everything still looks pretty good. Like, it doesn't have as much coverage as it started out with, but with, like, any kind of spots that I either wiped away or that kind of wore away throughout the day, I think it still looks really beautiful. Um, this is definitely not a, a complexion or a base that I would be mad at coming home from work at the end of the day or anything like that. I think it looks really nice. It kind of fades... Um, 
kind of like skin like it definitely becomes more skin like as time goes on I believe um, both I think did look a little slightly heavier than I was expecting upon application not in like a super cakey way or anything but just um, just like foundation -y. Um, and I think definitely any of that heaviness is gone and like I've been seeing kind of fade over time everything looked really good my skin um, I would say now, around now, it's starting to feel more like a natural finish. Um, it was pretty radiant in my last check-in as well as any of uh, the footage in the beginning. But, yeah, this is it. So, I feel like my final opinion would be I really like these. As someone with dry skin, I would recommend either to someone. Um, unless you really just love Kosas foundations and you just would like to try a new foundation. I know a lot of us are just so into the makeup space that we just enjoy buying things just to try them out if they're new, if whatever. So if that's you, then totally I would say feel free to get both, either one, whatever. Um, but you don't need both, I don't think. Because I feel like you're getting that very similar kind of radiant um little goes a long way um kind of effects now keep in mind the skin improving foundation does have spf so that can be nice you're not really getting a full spf coverage from your foundation like it say it says spf 25 unless you're applying um i would say probably like five pumps or more of that foundation, I wouldn't say you're getting proper sun care from that. So just keep that in mind. I know some people see SPF in their makeup and they're like, oh, well, I don't need to use um, any other sunscreen because it's in my makeup. But just know that that is kind of a blurry line and you might not be getting the full coverage that you're expecting. Um, now this foundation does also claim over here on this side that it has some skin improving elements. Now I feel like no one's going to be able to really test that unless you are just wearing... See that's kind of the point that I don't get about like skin improving. Um, it might have some nice skincare ingredients in there that do make it sit nicely in the skin, that do make it fade, that could be, like, what we're witnessing here. Some of those in ingredients, like squalene oil, things like that, could be helping the appearance and, um, look of the foundation on your skin, but stick to skincare. Um, I wouldn't buy a foundation just based on skincare improving benefits um the face oil i think also looks equally as beautiful but maybe just worth it since this is a new product if you want to see what coast is, is about i would say either one um but the new one definitely is nice if you were interested in trying that one like i said i don't think you need both but if you want both they are both really great and i think both of these are going to be put in my everyday makeup drawer because I really, really like how my foundation looks today. I like how everything looks um, on my skin. I like how everything laid on top. So, yeah, did I blabber enough? Um, that is going to be the end of my little Kosas versus Kosas foundation skin oil beauty battle, which is better long wear, 10 hour wear test. Yeah, I think I got it all covered. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.